Hey y'all, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Chromium from the Debian Buster repos. And this is gonna be for just about every Ubuntu-based distro out there. It seems that there are a lot of people that are unhappy with the recent change to make Chromium a snap. Now I'm a fence sitter on this. I don't really care one way or the other. Honestly, I would just as soon use something like Brave or Vivaldi if Chromium wasn't available to me anymore. But there are a lot of people that love their Chromium that don't necessarily want a snap. This video is for you. Why do you use Chromium? Why not something else? Let me know down in the comments. So I've created a GitHub so I can share all of the documentation that I'm gonna be writing over the next few months. So go there if you don't wanna hear me, but you still wanna be able to do the stuff that I'm talking about. The GitHub repo link is in the description. The solution to this whole issue is actually kind of clever. It uses a solution called apt pinning. This is essentially a way to add a repository that may have tons of software in it and pick and choose what you want to get out of it instead of replacing your repositories with other repositories, which could break your system. The real magic comes about midway through this video, and this readme contains all the commands that you need to use to make this work. All you have to do is copy and paste. Now I know what you're thinking. Copying and pasting commands from the internet? That's dangerous. Well, I'll do you one better. I'll explain what you're doing as you do it. That way, you might feel a little better about copying and pasting some random person's commands, and you might just learn a little bit. The first thing that we have to do is add the Debian repo. We put that in a directory called Etsy apt sources.list.d. If you've added other repositories or some other software, you may already have some stuff in here. We can take a look at what I've got in there now. To do that, do the list command, etsy apt sources.list.d. And you can see I've got Brave Browser, Google Chrome, and the official pack package repositories lists for Linux Mint. So we're gonna add one more. And the way that we'll do this is use nano to create ourselves a new file and copy and paste a few lines. Now that sources.list.d directory requires a little extra privilege, so we'll need to use sudo to make it work. sudo nano etsy apt sources.list.d slash debian dash chromium Dot list. So that's what I'm gonna call it. You don't actually have to call it Debian-Chromium at all. You can name it anything that you want to, but it should end in dot .list either way. First command will always require your password. And then you can just copy and paste these. You can use the middle click to paste or you can always right click and paste as well. Not much left to do here, but save and exit. You can do that in one swoop by hitting Control X, which will try and stop Nano. And it'll ask you down in the bottom left, do you wanna save this? Yes, of course. And just hit enter. It's gonna write to the file that you called in the original command. You can verify that down at the bottom, file name to write. You can check it, little copy and paste so I don't have to uh, type that again. But you can check it by using cat and pasting that file in there just to verify. Now we need to create one more file, a preference file. Very much like the list file, this preference file is going to control the types of things that we're gonna be getting from that Debian repo. This is where the apt pinning comes in handy. So we can just copy and paste this command. Or you can type it out manually if you'd like. I'm naming Debian-Chromium on the list and on the pref file, just so I know that they are together. If I delete one, I should probably delete the other as well. Hit enter here. It'll open up Nano, and there's, a, there's quite a few things that we actually need to add in to make all of this work. But I have some explanation as to what's going on. And I also, uh, this, this is not my explanation here, but there's explanation above each bit 
that does give you a little insight into what's going on, but it doesn't explain everything. So I'll try to do that a little bit here. So all of this, you'll need to take, copy, and paste. Now let's look at these things. Under the first comment, don't install anything other than Chromium from the Debian repos. The way that we do this is we're saying all packages from deb.debian.org, we're going to give it a negative priority. And I've got down here a little bit of explanation about what those different priorities mean. And usually anything negative is just don't touch it. So the first thing that we say in both deb.debian.org and security.debian.org, we're just saying, don't give me anything. I don't want any of that. Then further, we do the same thing to the Chromium BSU game. So if it starts with Chromium-BSU, we're going to ignore it. And we do that from the deb and the security repos as well. Now we get to the good stuff, Chromium. What we're saying here is anything that starts with the word Chromium, I want to grab it from the deb.debian.org repo. And if you look down here, 700, gives you kind of an insight as to what's going on. That 700 really just means that you want to install from the repository that you have listed here, in this case, deb.debian.org, unless there is a main repo on your system with the same package name. Now, if you know anything about the Ubuntu repositories, you know that Chromium is Chromium-browser. So we don't actually have a conflict here. In the Debian repo, it's just Chromium. So we do that for the Deb repo and the security repo as well. And then further, we want to make sure that the libraries that come with Chromium are from the Debian repo. And we do that by specifying which libraries we're talking about. I want that from the deb.debian.org repo and a pin priority of one. And that basically just means this is the package I want. I don't care if there are other packages named this. I want it from here. And you do that for security as well. So that's kind of the basics of apt pinning. Now you know at least a little bit about what you're doing before you save this file. So same as with the list file, control X to save it. Yes to save that buffer. Enter to just accept the file name that you chose when you ran the command. That's the hard part. Everything else is a bit of copy and paste just here on the command line. Nothing special. What we need to copy and paste are some commands to get keys from the Ubuntu key server. Now, these are Debian's keys. What these keys are for are to make sure that the Debian packages that you download are the Debian packages that Debian expected you to get. They are signed with these keys. So let's add each one. Now, if you're worried about these keys, you can go to keyserver.ubuntu.com and look them up. Find or search for Debian Buster and verify the keys. And just for the first one, DCC 90F blah, 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 11517. And you can verify that right here. DCC 90F blah, 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 11517. So you can see that those really are hosted at ubuntu.com. So bring that command over. This will install one key and do that for the other two keys as well. And the last key. If you don't get these keys in there, those packages will fail to install because they did not pass their verification step. But that's it. Once you have this in there, Chromium is now available for you. The last couple of things that you need to do is update your repository. And then install Chromium. sudo apt install Chromium.
Now, once this is done, you'll be as up to date as any Debian user would be. At this point, Chromium should be in your menu. So open that up, Chromium, and there it is. Obviously, from Debian. Now you've got Chromium. Anytime there's an update, it'll come up in your update manager like any other package. If this video helped you, hit that like button. And subscribe if you want more content like this.